We're here today on the big island in Kona to explore heavenly Hawaiian Kona coffee farm. Kona coffee is world famous for being among the most delicious and it's definitely one of my favorite beverages. So can't wait to check it out. Grown on the hills of Halualoa in the heart of Kona since 1994, Heavenly Hawaiian Coffee Farm grows, processes, and roasts 100% pure Kona coffee. Chris is not much of a coffee no, drinker. No, I'm not, but I'm gonna give it a try. It smells good. Yeah, it doesn't do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> mm. The farm offers several immersive experiences, including a farm tour, which seemed to us like a great way to learn more about how Kona coffee is made. Hey, Amy. This was our tour guide, Townsend. Six VIP guests, including two magical mystery VIP YouTubers, were gonna be famous. I was already loving the energy of this tour. This is Nate. He's our in-house chocolate maker. We've imported him, if you will, from Switzerland. And I was delighted that they offered us a variety of coffee candies. The red one tasted like peppermint. After our treats, Townsend led us toward the coffee fields. Coffee fruits that are ready to be harvested look like little red cherries. These trees were only just beginning to show their flower buds. When we entered the open air processing facility, we soon learned that we weren't the only visitors there. Oh, that's oh my gosh. Two spiders. Oh, oh I think it's on you now, honey. Oh, oh, oh my god. After our wildlife encounter, Townsend explained how their wet mill removes the red fruit pulp from the coffee bean. And once the beans are out, it's pretty much just skin, right? And what you're going to see here is actually not too different than these piles. This isn't done by hand. Rather, it's done in this thing. The resulting wet beans are then dried right on the deck with fresh air and natural sunlight. Um, hey, angels. More spiders. To prevent mold from growing on these drying beans, they must be turned regularly by hand or by foot. <laughs> Yes, Ava! <laughs> Spread them, we... Okay, so, uh, it's about 14. Let Townsend show you how it's actually done. Okay, let's go! I'm doing it! After drying, the beans go through a hulling process to remove a thin layer of parchment. Then, they are ready to roast and be sold as 100% pure Kona coffee. Sure, that's when we have a no lifeguard and duty sign. This guy came back. After our tour, the adventure continued with a stroll through their farm's greenhouse. And a crawl into an old military jeep that was actually used in the film Tropic Thunder. Hi. That's my girl. I can't tell you what they are. And then came Ava's favorite part of the entire tour. She got to meet Umi, the furriest member of the Heavenly Hawaiian coffee team. Cool about the, oh. parts of, uh, Is this sweet kitty cup? Take. Yeah. Um, what do we have here? Some coffee? Uh, uh, Alright, finally you get to try some coffee. <laughs> it is light. It's good. Yummy. Until next time. <laughs> <laughs>